are your friends? In this video, I would like to show you how to stream a video directly from a mass storage device on the Atari 8-bit computer. For this demonstration, I'm going to take the side 2 cartridge. I'm going to move the switch of the cartridge down to the SpartaDOS position and put it inside the Atari computer. So let's boot the cartridge into SpartaDOS, into the built-in SpartaDOS mode of the cartridge. Inside the cartridge there is already a compact flash card with the movie data. I will give more details about it later. And I'm booting and drive one using an SIO to PC or I can use a floppy drive with the movie loader because the compact flash card is formatted for the movie data, raw movie data. So there is no files there, just the movie. And I need to load the movie player, so I'm going to use the SIO to PC, mount the drive as drive one. And here is my movie player. And um, let's boot the floppy boot the file so right now what I did is I booted the movie player directly from the ATR that is mounted through the SIO to PC as drive one and we can just push play to Watch the video. Dragon's Lair, a fantasy adventure where you become a valiant knight on a quest to rescue the fair. As you can see, the video stream at 50, 60 frames per second. Actually, this is a PAL version of the movie, so it's 50 frames per second. The audio is streaming at 50 kilohertz. And we can see here 256 colors. Directly from the Atari computer. I could just lower the audio a bit. So what we do see here, we see here a stream of video directly from the mass storage device. And going through a standard Atari computer, it's not an upgraded Atari computer, and that this technique was created by Avery Lee, also known as Ferron, on the Atari Age forum. It was done about four years ago, back in 2013, and he found a way to stream um, data fast from a mass storage device through the Atari computer through the GTIA mode. So right now we are using both a, a graphics mode 9 following by graphics mode 11. So we get a graphics mode 9 is 16 shade of one color, one line, and then another line of graphics mode 11, which is 16 colors of uh, with only one luminance. And then, you know, this is what we are all familiar with. This mode is also called the APAC mode. And it's a technique to allow you to view 256 colors. And right now we are streaming a video directly from the compact flash um, in, in, into this mode. Now, um, what I could say is that it's very nice, very smooth. The jitters that you see once in a while, uh, it's that's because the compact flash jumps between tracks and that's the time timing i haven't uh, tried yet a better compact flash i'm using a ken kensington uh, compact flash but i probably need to, if i would use a, a something better um, like the um, sun disk ones i probably will get better result because they are better quality uh, uh, hardware uh, there, there are two versions of player, one player for the side 2 cartridge and another player that you can use the My IDE cartridge 
again also to uh, stream um, video. I started to, and I mentioned earlier that the video on the Compa Flash is not copied as FAT32 or uh, any other uh, partition format. It's simply a raw data that is being uh, copied directly into the compact flash and that's we want to save time again the atari only operates at 1.79 megahertz so if you want to get a uh, 50 60 seconds or 50 frames per second you have to do very uh, elegant code and of course uh, you are limited in the timing that you can uh, start and manipulate a, a, a file system so um, uh, I'm, I'm going to show later uh, a tool uh, and give you a link to the Atari 8 website that have some other demonstrations of uh, videos and, uh, uh, and other movies that uh, um, you can download. And using the Win32 Disk Manager, you can just simply uh, copy those raw um, hard drive images back into a, a real physical uh, compact flash and put them on your side cartridge, boot the ATR with the player, and you can enjoy and watch a, a video. Let's see, let's take a look at another video that I have. I'm just gonna take out this card, and I'm gonna put inside the card with another video that I um, copied earlier. Okay, so again, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna boot the Atari when the switch is down into the side to a uh, Spartados mode. Let's put the voice back up again. The player is mounted as an ATR on drive one using my SIO to PC. I'm gonna boot the player. And it detected that this is a PAL machine. Again, if it was an NTNC, it would be detected this is an NTSC machine. It's very important that when you copy movies into the compact flash, if you have a PAL computer, then copy PAL format movies. If you have an NTNC, just copy NTSC movies. On the link that I will give to the Atari Age forum on this uh, specific topic, the 60 frame video player topic, there are also tools that allow you to convert videos into a, a hard drive image that then you can copy into a compact flash. So all the tools and the players are, and of course the sample videos are there that you can download from. Let's watch this video. Thank <laughs> you. 
and basically you are limited only to the size of uh, the mass storage device. You can uh, even do a full movie here if your storage is big enough. I'm going to uh, switch to a, a PC, a Windows computer, and show you how you can copy already ready-made movies into this uh, Compact Flash. Uh, and so, if you have a Saito cartridge or a Max IDE cartridge, you can just put us uh, Compact Flash in there and just uh, watch the movies on a real Atari. So let's switch and uh, see uh, what you need to do on a, on a Windows machine. Okay, so. We have your Windows machine and you're going to go to the browser and you're just going to Google the Win32 disk imager It's a tool that you can download for free We're going to download it into this computer. Just going to click Save File. So let's install the software. Alright, so this is the Win32 disk imager. Now we're going to go to the Atari Age website. Go to the for forums. Into the Atari 8 bit computer. Just going to search the thread about the 60 frame per second video player and here it is 60 frame per second video using side 2 just going to click into this thread so if you're just going to look from start you will find here in this thread all the tools that allow you to create the video to create the audio to sample the audio at 15 kilohertz to merge the video and the audio together into uh, into one file one data that you can just uh, put into the compact flash so we also have all the player here and all the samples and, and everything there so let's go and uh, look in this thread start from the from the end and let's download a video this is the player you can download here this is the movie player for the my IDE cartridge that I show you earlier I'm just gonna scroll down or up until I can find a, a sampled of a ready-made movie. And there are a few here. There is one that is NTNC videos, some PAL videos. So let's take, a, for example, just click here. And let's open that. Let's open the file with some NTNC ready-made videos okay so we have here some raw compact flash data or hard drive data that needs to be copied now uh, the extension could be either BIN binary file or it could be double D's, DD as a disk drive, but this is basically a raw data. So what we're going to do, 
let's take out this one let's copy it into the desktop so we copy the raw data into the desktop and we're going to change the extension into an image extension img because that's the extension that the wind disk imager can um, can read I'm just going to make sure that my uh, compact flash is on the drive D so that's my uh, compact flash here and I'm going to search and this is the image file that I renamed as an IMG file just copy it here now be aware that when you do that we're now we're going to copy the raw data into the compact flash if there is any <coughs> if there is any important data or information on the compact flash store it keep it copy it first because when, once you do that you simply erased everything that you had on that drive before so what we're going to do now we're going to close the application that right now occupies the compact flash and try to read from it and we want to make sure that we having the file that we want to mount or not mount actually copy as raw data into the compact flash the drive is correct and we're going to write click on the right button and now we are copying the raw data the raw video movie into the drive physical sectors right is successful successful that's it now next what we have to do is just take out the compact flash away from the PC computer plug it into the side cartridge and uh, boot the movie player and watch the video that's all for now this is how you do some nice tricks and neat things with the Atari computer I hope you enjoy this video and until next time enjoy your Atari